Ahem, ahem. What's going on, guys? Whole bunch of people hanging out already. 41 seconds to go. What is going on? Toja, 60 second hype. That's right. Although 30 seconds for me because of the delay. Now I know how long the delay is. Mystical Puka. Oh man, I'm so glad this is a convenient time for you. Sweet. Gordy HD, thanks for stopping by. Inazuma the Lightning, what is good? Mother lover. I do love my mother, actually. Daniel, what's going on, man? Thanks for coming through. Did I miss anyone? Did I miss anyone? What is good, Inazuma? Much is good. Much is good. Let's see. Let's get the game open up here. Five seconds to go. Oh, no. I'm going to miss the timer. Got you like a fish out of water now. That is the alert to stream. Let me wait for Unity to open up. Shabbat it boop there we go let's make sure the cam is okay I moved my camera a little bit okay it's not okay eh I guess it's fine there we go camera you good camera what's up guys how's it going quasi here Inizuma you heard there are pixels to be had there was indeed there was indeed Emilio virtual what's going on thanks for stopping by you are at the skyhook stream we're working on a game where you fight with grappling hooks Daniel let's go let's go What's going on, everybody? If you guys are new to the stream, uh, my name is Quasi, and I am working on a game called Skyhook, which is out now on Steam Early Access. And uh, Skyhook is a local multiplayer platformer where you fight with grappling hooks. And let me show you guys what that means. A wild Quasi card has appeared. That's right. Hey, Morel, what's going on, man? Thanks for coming back. Narcos, what's going on? How's it going? Warner, I'm going to call you Narcos because it's, it's much easier to call you by your username than it is to switch to switch my brain to your real name each time let's turn down the options here so this is skyhook guys uh, quick thing for anyone who doesn't know about the game as of today a new patch was updated to steam by pro popular demand as the ability to add a dynamic camera you could turn it on or off so you can make the camera zoom you can make that all stop if you're not into that kind of stuff uh, I'm gonna leave it on cuz I'm a fan of it I'm gonna plug in my twitch channel name here waste quasi that is me I'm going to head into Versus, and if you guys have been hanging out in the chat, you know the deal. If you want to get in on this match, if you want a chance to win 1,000 doubloons, type exclamation play, followed by the character name, and it'll spawn you right into the game. There we go, XNF, what's going on, dude? Play Runa green hard. There we go, XNF in-game, green Runa. Sweet. All right, Toja, Anara, Green, Mystical Puka, Jade Blue, Daniel, just, just not in time, just not in, a, in enough time. Sweet, so we got XNF, Toja, Mystical Puka in the game. Uh, Senkirk, what should you move for for move character vertical and horizontal with physics? Uh, there's a couple of options. You could use rigid body dot move towards. You could use rigid body dot add force. I think move towards is probably the most accurate. Uh, and then. The best thing to do would be to not use Unity Physics at all and to use your own physics and just use transform.move. Um, Narcos getting a crew together. Sweet. Inazuma, thanks so much. This is Skyhook. Yeah, I was showing you guys the game. So in this game, you could play as a shark, a ninja, a viking, or oh, that's a cat, a viking, or a cat. Those are the four characters out right now. I'm going to play as the shark. You have a grappling hook that you could use to swing around and kill other people. You have a melee attack, which I'm performing right here. And you have a, a wave dash kind of ability. You could do it in the air, and you could do it on the ground as well. So we've got a couple of uh, Twitch users logged in here. Uh, so the way it works is, when I'm on the character selection screen, you guys can type exclamation play into chat and choose your character, and it'll spawn a bot with your name above its head. And what we'll do is, whoever wins this match, if a bot wins, that user will get 1,000 doubloons, which is the currency here on the quasi stream. So let's do a three live death match, as always. And we're going to head over to King's Fall. Here we go. Here's our... Here's actually, I think, one of the first maps ever made for this game. So I'm the shark here. I'm going to take out... Oh! Mythical Puka takes out Tojo. I'm going to go for XNF. Oh, and XNF blows me up with the ship mount. Cannons me in the face. Oh, and takes out Mythical Puka as well. Remember, guys, these are AIs playing for... These are AIs playing for Twitch users here, so anything can happen. So right now someone picked up the mirror power up, which made us all transform into the green ninja. And when you transform into somebody, you also gain their dodge ability. 
And the Green Ninja's dodge ability is teleporting. Sudden Death has just been activated, which means bombs fall from the sky and target all the other players. I'm going to turn down the audio here. Going for Mystica Puka. It's just me and him. Just me. Oh, and Mystica Puka takes me out. Earns himself 1,000 doubloons without even trying. Move this over here. All right, there it is. There's the results. Oops, let's cancel that. Mystical Puka, five kills, two deaths. That's right. I totally forgot how to do this. I think it's points. Add Mystical Puka 1,000. Hmm. I already forgot how to do points thing. Ankhbot documentation. Let's take a look. I think it's treasure add. Currency. I've got short term memory. Points remove, points add. Yeah, that's what I did. Did it do it? Uh, is it treasure add? Yeah, maybe. Let's try that. Treasure add. There we go. Thanks, guys. Thanks for that correction there. Miss Kapuka, 1,000 doubloons for you. There it is. Sweet. No, thank you. Thanks for coming through. Thank you guys for hanging out. Let's jump back into the main menu. I'm going to turn on the music here. I'm going to turn the music off, actually. Leave the sound effects on. Sweet. All right, guys. We'll do one more match to warm up today. So if you guys want to jump in here, feel free. Feel free. Remember, the command is exclamation play followed by the character name. The characters being Anara, Finn, Runa, and Jade. Once we get all this stuff straightened out, I'll start adding this into the description of the Twitch channel. Narcos vs. Zombies. Whoa, X and F. Finn, blue fin, green fin. X and F said fin red easy, but it spawned him as blue fin. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Definitely take a look at that, X and F. Seems like you got blue fin when you were looking for red fin. We got one more spot open, guys. One more spot open. Daniel spawning in, red Anara hard. Sweet. Oh, you guys are not making this making this easy for me. And we got a bug. Whoopsie daisies. There we go. You guys are gonna have to start out again. Very sorry, very sorry. Ah, sorry, Puka. Alright guys, now's your chance. There we go. Daniel got back in. Anara red hard. Come on, man, you gotta pick the hard one. Hard bots are no joke. Mr. Puka, red fin, jade easy. Red fin Oh, you're trying to break it. Okay, quit. Uh, X and F. Jade Blue, sweet. Narcos Rodami, Red Fin, Jade Easy. Huh. Emilio, Runa Green Hard, sweet. Daniel, harder, harder. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to jump in here as Green Jade. There we go. Three live deathmatch. We'll head over to the Tombs of Ra. Oh no, no reference exception! human players oh righty 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 what have we done time to jump into some visual studio and is will be doing some pixel art sweet yeah we'll do some we'll do some tune we'll do some soon on the channel as well I'll, I'll yell if i need you no problem thanks for hanging out mr kapuka is the stream frozen that ain't good that's not good It's back. Okay, few, few, few. I mean, it's pretty cold here in Buffalo, so if the stream is frozen, that might be why. All right, where we got? What do we got? We got a no reference exception here. If current player is not equal to null and current player is playing, and I think it's this. So if current player dot bot info is not equal to null, we're gonna have to do some polish and make sure this all this null crap isn't happening anymore in the future. Mr. Kapuka might be you. Hope not, hope not. Or, I mean hope it is. I mean, well, I hope it gets better. Hope it gets better. Let me know. Worst case scenario, I could turn down some of the quality settings on the channel. Hopefully that'll help you out. Rames, what's going on? Good evening, good evening. 
Where are you at, Rames? Where are you hailing from today? Where does it e where is it evening for you? All right. Let's give us another shot, guys. Jump into the game. Got three spots open. Exclamation play to enter. Mystical Puka, uh, does it check everything sequentially? Yes, right now it does. Um, I do think in the future it'll probably be easier if we just do checks on every single thing. Uh, Narcos for the Zombies, what the f what the hell just that? <laughs> just pasted some CSS into chat. Narcos trying to hack the game right now. Uh, but Mystical Puka, yeah, I think you're totally right. I think it would be really cool if it could check it out of order. Uh, right now it doesn't. Yeah, right now it looks like because you're adding extra stuff to the end, it's uh, it's screwing it up. But yeah, we'll have to look at how to make that stuff kind of more modular. Narcos, no worries, man, no worries. All right, we got XNF as Redfin, Jade as Blue Jade, uh, Miska Puga as Blue Jade, and Emilio Virtual as Green Runa, and myself as Blue Anara. Let's do this three live death match. Let's do Tombs of Ra again. Let's hope the game doesn't crash. There we go. No crashes. That's always good. It's always good. I'll unmute the audio here. Oh, and Mr. Kabuka just slashed me from behind while I was muting the audio. So I'm the ninja right now, and my dodge ability is that when I dodge, you can't see where I'm going. Emilio picks up the slow motion power up. We collide hooks. Oh, and I knock him out from behind, but there we go. I take Emilio out. Oh, I almost get X and F, but he, he leaves. He tries to chomp me. I take him out, too. Mr. Puka clobbers me with his hook. Mr. Puka dominating again. Goodness. I'm at one life left. Emilio's at two. All right, come here, Puka. Come here, Puka. You're not going to win again. No. No. Ah, I'm taken out by Puka. And Emilio Virtual for the win. GG. Well done, well done. There we go. Mr. Kapuka, is there a specific color to choose, or can you choose a hex color? Uh, no, you can only choose a certain array of colors. Red, blue, green, yellow. Pretty much any color from the characters. So, let's jump back here. Yeah, that'd be crazy. You can't actually... There's The skins are hard-coded into the game. So it'd be insane, I guess, if you could just like pass in CSS. Imagine. Uh, but yeah, this is still broken, so I can't go back into the game. So let's fix that. Um... So canceling from world map to car selection, gamepad is taken. You guys wondering? Yeah, so right now all the characters have a skin for each one of the alternate characters. So there's blue, red, green, yellow, uh, and pink is hidden right now for the last character. Uh, Rames, on the match setting screen, make the cursor default to the play button instead of the user having to scroll every time. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's a great point. That's a great point. Let me copy and pasta that right here. So yeah, no, I totally agree. I think you're absolutely right, Rames. Uh, I'm going to write that down as a note for things for us to get to. Uh, Emilio, Emilio needs his points. Amazing game, thanks so much. Let's drop you some treasure. Treasure add. Emilio, 1,000. Remember, if your bot wins the game, you get 1,000 doubloons. And you can always check your doubloons by typing an exclamation treasure. All right, that was, that was a lot of fun. Let's notepad plus plus music book. Yeah, man, it's an advanced... Super advanced, uh, super advanced word editing program. <laughs> Rames, lots of bullets. Yeah, man, always lots of bullets. Always lots of bullets. Never ends. And this is just one doc, right? This is just one list out of the many lists of things. One list out of the many lists. Rames, everyone should have Notepad++. Plus, plus, plus. Yeah, man, if you're working in regular Notepad, it's time to step your game up. Step your game up. All right. So, okay, we're not going to worry about bugs right now. Let's organize this a little bit. Um, I'll just put bug. Timer queue to vote. So we're going to start there. Um, so what we're going to start with today is a, big, a really good suggestion that came out of the stream yesterday. The idea is that right now it's first come, first serve, which kind of sucks for uh, getting into the match. So what we're going to do is when a streamer goes into character selection, a timer is going to show up up top, and everyone in chat has a chance to queue up, and it's going to show how many people are queuing. So let's let's actually let's do a quick mock-up of what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to go to character selection and just take a quick screen uh, blah, 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 screenshot. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pump into Photoshop. Pump into Photoshop. I don't think you could pump into any software, can you? 
Oh, Daniel's going to have a field day with that one. Music died. That's cool. All right, here we go. Here is the character selection screen. Don't get tricked, guys. It's not the actual game, so you can't play yet. Raymond versus. Can you zoom in a little? If it's not too intrusive for you, it's hard to read the code. Oh yes, yes, yes. In Visual Studio. Yes. Thank you for that reminder. I always forget to do that. I always gotta remember to zoom in on the code. Let me know when, if at any point, it's good for you guys. Oh, Daniel, you missed it. Good, good, good. Don't tell him. Nobody tell him what I said. All right. So here's the idea: is when you're into the screen, there's gonna be a big counter up top. So let's say I don't know, 55 seconds. All right, sorry, 60 seconds. Emilio Virgil, welcome to the crew. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fish? Did somebody say fish? Hey, Mak Matsu, welcome to the crew. Thank you so much for the follow. You are watching Skyhook Game Development, a game where you fight with grappling hooks out now on Steam Early Access. Drop Shadow. So we're doing a quick mock-up of what this is going to look like. Shabba-dip-bop. Shabbity boop. Drop shadows are always weird to me if they're not actually on a surface. So it should probably go here, or if it should go here. Now what we could do is something like uh, type exclamation play in chat to join. Let's lose Leander. Just for some uppercase here. So what we can do is we can have this kind of counter. Oh gosh, we can have this counter going. Ramos, it's good now. Oh, Ram, sorry, it's good now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Results, Narcos just racking up those points, racking up those points on battles, man. Narcos not kidding around. Um, so we have this big counter, it's going to go 54, 53, 52, it might not be that long. Let me know what you guys think would be a good time frame. There's about a 20 to 30 second delay on most streams, so we could do like a 30 second thing, we could do like a 50 second thing, let me know what you guys think. Mr. Puga, is there a max for the battle? Uh, I could set one, yeah. I think right now it's just set to 1,000, let's see. Mini games. I need to put a cooldown on it. So I had the cooldown turn off to test it. So let's do uh, maximum amount. Oh, yeah, maximum is 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So max bet is 100. Uh, min is 1. Payout is 10%. And let's, let's increase payout to like 20%. Let's set max to 500 because we're freaking crazy on this stream. Oh, wait, that's the betting system. I meant to go here. So max amount is leet. <laughs> max amount for the betting system is leet. Min users is 1. Start delay is two minutes. We'll put cooldown. We'll put every five minutes. You guys can battle. Uh, join permission, everyone. Sweet. All right. You tried 1500. You guys are insane. Increase max thousand. Yeah, sorry. Max was actually elite. Yeah. <laughs> Narcos, you tried 1000. It didn't work. Slow writers. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, there's also slow riders in the thing. In the, uh, in the. Wait, how much did you get, Dan? Dan did. Oh, he's treasurer. Dan's getting a true together for 500. Okay, cool. That worked. Weird. You guys are insane, battling like crazy in the chat. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Where are we at? All right, so we're gonna have a big countdown. It's gonna say type exclamation play in chat to join. Now, what I don't know is uh, if you have to choose a character. Uh, exclamation play with no character chooses random character. So what we're going to do is we're going to give the players an option, or the viewers, you guys, an option. You could type exclamation play, or exclamation play character, or exclamation play character color, or exclamation play care color skin, or sorry, difficulty. But I think we might turn the difficulty thing off, because I'm starting to think it doesn't really make sense. Or maybe it does, I don't know. We'll leave it up to streamers and stuff. Uh, play with no characters. Uh, exclamation play chooses random character. Okay. So just that. 
so we'll add, make sure we're adding. So this countdown is going to go down. It's going to start queuing up people into the list, and then it's going to and somewhere here it's going to say like. Um, I feel like this should probably be at the top, but there's not really any good place to put it. We could just put it down here for now. We'll just say 99 uh, uh, auto. We'll say 999 joined. And this stupid font doesn't have a really good number scenario. So we'll switch that to wind loss. There we go. Something like that. Mystical Puka, if there's something like different AI styles, that would be epic. Oh, what do you mean by different AI styles? That's interesting. You think the difficulty thing makes sense? Yeah, because what I was thinking is like if, especially if you're doing like betting and stuff like that, it's like you play against hard. If someone picks medium and hard, it doesn't really make sense. So probably the streamer should be able to set up what level bot they want to play against, which they can always change it here. Uh, ah, I told you, board on chains. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that idea a lot. That is brilliant. So something like shoop a doop. Instead of like hang down. And so we're gonna do a okay, we're just gonna do a really shitty job right now. So let's uh, grab some colors here. I'm gonna move over to my Cintiq. Uh, so we're gonna do a really shitty job real quick. Grab our pixel art brush. Uh, who said the the board idea? I told you that's an awesome idea. I like it a lot. Uh, offense, defense, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I think it's something we might we might try to do in game is like allow you guys allow the street the viewers to throw in like suggestions to um, how they want their bot to behave. Things like focus on treasure or whatever. Okay, so it's gonna be like that. It's going to have some wood planks. So we're going to do a really little placeholder board here. Throw in some shadows. Now we're going to change the color because right now it's the same color as the ship, which is not what we want. What's going on? Why are you open? And we'll add some metal hanging down. So again, just dropping in some placeholder art so we can throw this into the game. And we'll throw some shadows on these chains. Some really shitty placeholder art. Just getting it in there. What's going on, guys? A whole bunch of battling going on. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So this will be like, and it'll like come down here or something. Let's just make this chain super long. All right. So it'll be like. Yeah, that, 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 that's the sound. That's the sound that chains make. You guys know it. So let's see, like 55. I'm going to take out this drop shadow. I'm just going to add a stroke instead. I always like to stroke my fonts a little bit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where is my stroke? Where is my stroke? Oh, right. Effects are turned off. There is my stroke. Shop to pop, shop to boop, shop to bop, bop, bop. So it can be like type, 
and then we could do that, and then we'll just do this, and then we'll just do that, and we'll just do that, and then I'm actually going to take that out and put it on a separate thing. What's going on? What's going on? Stroke that font. That's our Mystical Puka. Stroke that font so hard. The stroke is strong with this one. <laughs> Alright, let's throw this into there. So it'll be... Let's say it starts at like 60 seconds. So there we go. And then the countdown will start or something. And then it'll say down here, like, one... 9,000 users have joined. Have queued. That's not how you spell queued. Queued. Have entered. I don't know, some shit. Something, 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 something. Oh, you lost all your hard-earned earnings, Puka. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you're still at 625. That's still quite a bit. Still quite a bit. All right, so it'll be something like this. A big chugga 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 wooden planet will come down. Six seconds, type exclamation play in chat to join. And the game will start queuing people up. So let's grab this guy. Here's our little really shitty wooden board. Oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad that it's good. Alright, we're gonna grab that. We're gonna add that to our big ass treasure map. So we have this one sheet that is just kind of my miss. Okay. 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 Gotta make it smaller, obviously. Image size, I think like 50%. Let's do nearest neighbors, so it crunches all those pixels. Is that okay? Maybe it's not going to be on this sheet. Maybe it's going to be on. I guess we just make a new sheet, a new shit. We'll just make a new 256 by 256. We'll make a new 512 by 512. Okay, this is going to be too big, so that's why I'm going to make its own sheet so we can adjust it. We're going to call this. Oh, you guys can't see that. Gordy, what's going on? I think there's a cooldown on the battle, which it should be telling you that there's a cooldown. Hmm. I'm not sure, Warner. Yeah, it should, like, when there's a cooldown... Oh! I guess it was you guys were just being queued up to a different battle. What's going on? You guys are killing the battle system right now. Miska Puka makes all his money back. <laughs> Daniel loses everything. I think Narcos lost everything too. Narcos with a shitload of doubloons. Gosh, I'm spoiling you guys right now. Uh, let's go to computer, C, code, ski hooks. Not Skyhook 3D. What is that? What could that be? I don't know. That's nothing. Assets. Sprites, menus, and then we'll say Twitch menu. And we'll just call this Twitch menu. Okay. Head over to our join screen. We can search Twitch now, see how big this thing is. Make it a multiple sprite. Pixels per unit, we'll make it 50. Uh, it's 512, true color, apply, sprite editor, we can just auto slice this thing, and I think it's going to be way too big, but let's see, shop it up, actually, it's not bad, it's not bad at all, sorting layer, we'll just put it as GUI, so here it is, it is a little bit too similar of a color, Let's just do image adjustment and make it purple and green now. We'll just make it I don't know, hmm. Color balance, we could add some yellows to it. Uh oops, 
I've got to save that. I'm going to close all of this now. Don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. We'll keep this around. Because it looks, look, it's, it's a nice guy. It's not a terrible person. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the show, don't forget to follow this channel where we do Skyo game development every weekday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Narcos cannot, cannot do these battles. Cool down, four minutes. You're away from home. Oh, where are you at, Warner? Why are you away from home? So here is our little Twitch menu. So we'll call this Twitch Countdown. Uh, actually, we're going to duplicate that, put that inside. We're going to call this Twitch Countdown, and we're going to call this uh, Board Sprite. We're going to remove the sprite from here. Okay. We're going to put a UI in here. UI Canvas. Make it world space, because we want that shit in the world. And we are going to make it like five by five or something. Put it over there. Height can be like three. Put it over there. Now we're gonna add a title, UI text. We're gonna call this countdown title. Put a big 60 on there. Make it wind lass. Wind lass is the font I use throughout the game. Font size one, everything else is broken. Uh, world space, sorting layer, GUI one. Rough dynamic pixels, one billion. And now this should work. There we go. Uh, do with center it, make it white. Let me show you guys what I was talking about because we've got some Unity devs in the house. So you guys might be able to help me. When I do an outline in Unity, it looks like complete balls. So I'll set it to be like 0 .02, 0 .02. And like that looks okay, but look, you can see it. Like you can see that it's just the same thing duplicated over and over again, especially on these edges of this font. So like, I don't know if you guys know what I'm doing wrong or if there's a better way to add these settings. Warner, your parents live in another city. Oh, you came to visit them. Darn, that sucks, man. I mean, it's cool that you went to visit them. It sucks that you can't work on your game right now. Uh, performance update uh, on a client app. Well, thanks for hanging out with us since you couldn't work on your game. But yeah, if you guys have worked with Unity Outlines before, like, why do my outlines look, little, my, why do my outlines look like such shit? Like, that's obviously not a good outline. Can I add more outlines? Is that the key? Is that the key? No, it's not the key. All right, so we're going to put the countdown timer there. We're going to put the command. Oh, what's with me in second uppercases? Command title. Narco's getting a 1,000 battle in. Mystical Puga battling with 666. You guys are nuts. Told you you haven't used the outline. Darn it. I will never know the secrets. Um, what was our text? Something like that. Make that shit big. And then make that shit small. So my world is so tiny that all my fonts have to be size 1. And then I have to scale them down even, wor even more. Because the overall scale for my world is really small. Compared to what it probably should be. See how that looks. Hey, Kiku69, what's going on? Daniel, paste bin. What we got? What do we got? Base mesh effect. And that looks better. The default one has less holes. Cool. And it works on Unity UI text. That's awesome. Let's try it. Download. No. Raw. Oh, there it is. Now this is what is this class called? Namespace nicer outline. Let's try it. We'll drop that into the project. Let's check this giant chain. Oh look, it looks like shit. Almost there. 
Uh, what are those flaggy thingies? These are on like GUI level a million. Press start view. Background is GUI zero. And this canvas is GUI 99. So let's just make this canvas GUI 100 because what up? Or sorry, 101. And I'll make this board sprite 100. And let's try out this new nicer outline that Dan was kind enough to find for us. Tojo, no one needs to know how small it is. Yes, yeah, size doesn't matter. It's the it's the girth of your game scale that matters. Uh, scripts. Uh, what do I have? Utilities. Let's drop this in here. Nicer outline. See if it compiles. All right, let's try that now. So countdown title. We'll remove this outline. And was it tools? Or it added it to um, add component UI effects extensions nicer outline. So add component nicer UI effects. You liar. You script. You're such a liar nicer outline uh, why you no show components UI effects is it hidden it's from a unity UI extension pack sweet oh Daniel yeah I know you didn't make it I saw the credit at the top Oh, so not, uh, Warner mentioned Daniel's nicer outline, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't show in the menu. Fish. Did somebody say fish? Hey, Kiku69, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the crew. You are watching Skyhook Game Development, a game where you fight with grappling hooks out now on Steam Early Access. Uh, Alright, we're going to have to take a look at this later. I'll see how I can implement this stuff. Or use the search. Yeah, I tried. Uh, it's no work. Nicer outline. Yeah, I'll look into it. Maybe we have to add some. We might have to set some stuff up. Just drag and drop it? No, because it's not actually a class. That's the problem. It's a extension. It's not actually a component. It's not a mono behavior. So I'm not sure how it actually works. But I'll look into the entire package later on, and then let me save this out. Uh, might be there might be some setup we have to do. Yeah, it probably needs the rest of the package. I noticed here there's a setup like getting started and all this stuff, and there's like different versions for different Unity UI, different Unities. So we'll take a look, but yeah, definitely that looks way cooler. Hopefully, I'll help polish up some of these UI issues I have. Um, okay. Hey, Sergeant Chuckles, what's going on? You've used it. Oh, base mesh effect is a mono behavior. Hmm. And I wonder why it's not working. It didn't compile for some reason. Probably because the game hates me. Did I put it somewhere stupid? Put it in utilities, I think. Nicer outline. I mean, maybe I, it's because of what I named the class? Nicer outline dot CS? No. Like, I could probably look it up in Visual Studio. Oop. Reload. Let's see. Nicer outline. Yeah, it's probably missing something else from that package that makes it visible. So, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Oh, wait, what? I guess it re it compiled now. So, all right. Let's see how this thing functions. 
so let's do 0 0.04, 0 0.04. It's about the it's like this it's the same shit. It's still just duplicating the outline, and it's like really obvious with this font. I mean, I know it's not an easy thing to do. I mean, I think it does look a little bit better than the Unity one, but with this font in particular, it's obvious. It's hard, easy to tell when it's not like that because the rounded edges here. The rest of it's looking better. Yeah, it makes the diagonal parts a little bit better. Cool. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, looking at 0 0.02, it's actually already a lot better, just because it adds one more outline there. So, yeah, it's definitely a good, it's a good step up from where it was before. Let's do a nicer outline on this as well. Oh, 0.5. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, it does a pretty good job. Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it is a pretty good base job. It's not terrible. Cool. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Let's make this a prefab in case Unity crashes on us or something. Oh, it was a problem on mobile. It makes it, it and it's less performant. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's good to know. Uh, all right, type exclamation apply chat and join. I'm going to call this Twitch Countdown View. This is going to where to go? Twitch Countdown View. Public. Oh, yeah, I have a sharper now, so I could do public. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Using Unity Engine.ui, we're going to need a public text, countdown timer, and public text description timer, or description title. Okay, we'll do void up or public void update timer. And this will be int new time. And we'll say countdown timer dot text equals new time. Or should we just do two string? And we'll do public void setup string start time and string description. And we'll say countdown timer title dot text equals start time to string. And description title dot text equals description. What's going on, guys? Narcos, you got 20 smartphones. Holy crap, for testing mobile. That's awesome. Oh no, what happened to Puka? Puka! Uh, Puka lost out on the on the battle or something. Sorry, Chuckles, you're doing an AR demo, rendering one car and the hardware just can't handle it. Dude, AR, that's sweet. That is awesome, man. Mr. Puka died. Oh no. RIP. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Twitch countdown view. Well, we got some, everybody showing off their years of development here. Well, what up, guys? I've been developing for two weeks. Yeah, what? Oh, wait, is is higher number better or is lower number better? Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? We are doing the countdown timer. Okay, Twitch countdown timer. We're going to go to our join screen and our Twitch view or whatever. Twitch join controller. We're going to give it a uh, public transform join view prefab. Ms. Apuka, what up? That's right. 
three hours. Oh shit, you beat me, man. Damn it, you got par. Right? It's like golf, right? The less you do, the better you you are. It's all good, man. Let's all be friends. Let's all be friends. Toja, yeah, I'm new to game dev too, man. Lots of exploring. We're all babies. We're always babies. Alright, join screen, Twitch countdown. Uh, Twitch countdown, countdown timer, but just ship a doop. Shop it up it up. Now, to be honest, I just I, I'm uh, fairly confident that I know nothing. And so I should really rely on you guys to help me out with stuff. And so yeah, I really appreciate all that. Um, so this is gonna be dumb because it's gonna appear here. Like where the hell is it coming from? And where the hell does it go? But it's all good. It's all good. So what we'll do is set up the join controller. We're going to make some methods. We'll say public void uh, show Twitch countdown, or just show, show countdown, because we don't have to keep using Twitch everywhere. Show countdown. So we'll say um, Twitch countdown view, and we'll call this countdown view. Countdown view, and so we'll say countdown view, you, you, countdown view, if not countdown view, countdown view equals new, or sorry, object pool dot spawn that prefab we stored, prefab, join view prefab, and we need to spawn at a place, so let's just do it. Uh, where is this? Let's just do transform that position. And we don't need a quaternion. And we'll do dot get component twitch countdown view. We got some more battles going on. Told you IRC does not do tone very well. That's true. That's true. That's why we should all just talk in robot in real life. If we all talked with absolutely no tone in real life, then chatting would be easier because everybody would be used to talking with no tone. Sergeant Chuckles, you learn to review most users' reviews. Ignore most users' users reviews unless they have a legit bug. Yeah, it's tough. Like sometimes with, what's hard about mobile in particular is that there's not really a thread or forum or something for people to go to to express how they feel about a game. All they can do is write a review and hope that the developer sees it, right? So like there are some players for Skyhook who are upset about the new camera, and rightfully so. And but luckily there's a Steam forums exist for them to tell me, hey, we got some problems, like can you please fix it? Whereas in mobile, the only outlet they have is write a really shitty review and then maybe the developer will fix it. If that, if that. Uh, so we're going to spawn a new thingy and then we'll say countdown view dot setup and we'll make the time um, 60. I probably should have made that an integer and my ear itches super weird. And the description will be um, butts everywhere. Okay, we'll see if that works, and then we'll tween it in. So we'll do countdown view dot position or dot transform dot position equals new vector three uh, transform dot position dot x uh, minus ten or some shit zero, and we'll do countdown view dot do kill and countdown view dot do move or do uh, how do you move shit? Oh, dot transform, dot move, x, where is it? This is at minus 10. Let's move it to zero for now. We'll say this should be dot transform, dot do kill. We'll move it, our duration will be half a second, no snapping. And our ease set ease will be ease dot out bounce. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? 
Rames, it's ex excessively rare. By the way, Rames, thank you for the mention, so that's easier for me to see this message. It's excessively rare for them to come back and change their review later. Yeah, no, totally. Absolutely, because they're... Uh, if that, yeah, for sure. Like, they're not even... It's not that they're actually trying to help you change the game, but, like, they don't really know what else to, to do besides tell you that the game sucks, right? So it's like, they probably won't come back. Yeah, if they don't like, like, one particular feature, they'll complain about it, but, like, again, they have no outlet for it. They probably don't expect you to actually change it, so you're right about that, Rames, but it's like... They don't really know where else to go. Biggest problem you see, Dan, is that there are so many different Android devices. Yeah, the fragmentation in the market is tough. And honestly, it's happening with iOS too, right? With 4, 5S, 6S, 6, 7, 7X, 9, 12. Uh, the fragmentation in iOS is getting is getting up there too. Uh, so let's delete Twitch countdown. Let's assign that here to the join screen. Shipoop, shipity-pop. I never even call that method, so I probably want to do that. So show countdown. Do we have some sort of initializer here? On command received, on level change, on skin change, no. So I should, let's make this public. Okay, we did. Let's go to our join screen controller. We'll say void on player join, has no players. Ah, we'll do connect to Twitch, start IRC, uh, Twitch name enemies, okay. So what we can do is if has no players, then uh, Twitch join controller or Twitch join controller dot uh, show countdown. Yeah, that's true. The PC market is super fragmented as well because you never know what graphics card someone might have. I think that's what somebody said. Maybe I misunderstood the chat. Hey, look, such a Twitch countdown. <laughs> uh, Let's do two, minus five. Pile in our code. All right. What the f? Oh, am I doing x instead of y? X y x. Ah ha 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 ha. Ho ho. Hobo lo ho lo. Damn, you were a tech artist for a mobile VR game company. That's very specific. Yeah, iOS is like a solid seven to twelve day turnaround time depending on the season. WTF, why does it spawn so low? Minus, okay, where do we want it to spawn? Let's go to join screen. I want it to spawn like over here. Come on, there we go. Uh, countdown locator. Let's go public, transform, countdown, count, down, locator. Ah, what is with this lack of camels? Countdown, locator. So we're going to snap it to that locator when we start. And then we'll move down five or something. Reams, you can see tons of clones and stuff on iTunes. So humans can't possibly be involved. So you're thinking there's bots cloning apps? Is that what you mean? I might have missed what Narco said. Loving all the chat today, guys. Loving all the chat. Alrighty. Almost a thing. Almost a thing.
we're gonna have to go like you go all the way up here come off from like way off screen and like fly down shoop 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 that's hilarious Uh, maybe not like that, maybe like there. Oh, it's kind of dark in here. Let me turn the lights on. <laughs> that bounce is hilarious. Outbounce, uh, overshoot, the default value is that. So let's put a little shorter overshoot. Let there be light. Oh, Rames, the approval process must be automated. Yeah, that's a good call. That's a good point, right? Like, it, it probably just runs through the app, sees if it sends any crash logs or something. No, because you submitted January 2nd. Damn. a little comic about the review process. Your game is super buggy. What a load of shit. Oh, really? Yeah, I can't get it to work on my unbranded Chinese rooted tablet via 2G. Okay, that seems to be a very specific case. It works perfectly for 150,000 other users. I don't care. It doesn't work, and I'm not going to keep quiet about it. No, I mean, it just... Your game is a piece of shit. That doesn't work. One star. I mean... Pfft. That's awesome. Okay, I might be understanding outbounds poorly. It's because it's flying in so far, right? Uh, we should just put a wait. Yeah, that's the problem. Set delay. One second. You go down here now. Stop being such a jerk and bouncing around so much. Narcos, that's not awesome. That sucks. Yeah, it, it it sucks awesomely. It all sucks. Comic is so true. Comic is so true. Agreed. That's not any software development is like. Even games, man. Even games. Ugh. Why are you so shit? Go over there. Rames, how long have I been game devving? Uh, I've been like seriously game devving only for the past like two and a half years using Unity. Uh, before that, it was mostly just working on mobile games, but I was I didn't do the the programming side of things, uh, working on RPG Maker games, stuff like that. God damn it! What's the best way to do this? I should wait until. <sighs> I should wait. Set okay. You know what? Because it's spawning too fucking soon. That's a problem. Uh, which is here. So I'm going to do I enumerator spawn countdown. Uh, yeah, so I started, this is my first game. I made a bunch of Jan games before that. I made a few mobile games like with friends before that where I just did the art and stuff. Um, so not very long, not very long. So that's why I'm always open to feedback and stuff from you guys. Narcos game doing for two months. Yeah, man. Well, you know, before that, I'm sure you were writing about your games, dreaming about your games. Oh, Rames, three months? Yeah, I was kidding, I think. I might have said that earlier. I was totally joking when everybody was talking about how long they've been making games. Um, you're about to blow a gasket. Because <laughs> I'm so awesome, is that why? Uh, yield, return, new, wait full seconds. And then, let's say, two sec three seconds... Motherfucking countdown. Oh, that had delay too. Recon, you started with a Commodore 64? That is awesome. That is sweet. Oh no, I'm going to crash Unity, guys. Here it comes. Oh, it didn't crash. Good.
And here it comes. There it goes. It's super late, but at least I did a thing. Two seconds. One second. I should probably just be doing this stuff in the editor rather than keep going back and recompiling code. Raymond, that would be a Mozart of game dev. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I should just tell people so they think I'm awesome. All right, 60 seconds, butts everywhere. At least that's working. Should this thing sway up and down with the ship? What do you guys think? Does this is the sign hanging on the ship, and therefore the sign should sway up and down as well, or is the sign hanging on the camera, and so the sign shouldn't sway up and down? Let me know what you guys think in chat. For now, there's butts everywhere. Oh, this I started it last week. Yeah, right. Finish like a like a MMO and just be like, oh yeah, not a week. Recon votes. It should be on the ship. Ooh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Well, let's do a poll. Wait, guys, don't say anything. Don't say anything. We're gonna do a poll. Should the countdown timer be hanging on the ship? or on its own from the camera, the camera. Ship, camera, butts, who cares? Start poll. Is it doing a thing? Sweet. A drop shadow behind the sign rames. It blends too much of the ship colors. Yeah, I totally agree. You can't recon. You can't use links. You should be able to post links in the chat. Fish. Did somebody say fish? Hey, Puka, Puka, did you bestie? Puka, to you bestie? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crew. You are watching Sky Game Development, a game where you fight with grappling hooks. We are working on some twitchy integration. Uh, we are going to screw with these colors. Uh, so I don't want to do a drop shadow because um, a drop shadow wouldn't make sense on where the sky is. What I might do is actually add a shadow to the thing that masks on the sky. So we can do that, which I can do, let's see. Start prompt. How can I do this? All right, that's the join screen. Where is the countdown? So we can do something more like this. Yeah, because then the drop shadow would just be like a graphic thing. But what I can do is actually make a real shadow and then give it the um, shadow decal shader. And now you can't see it, right? Because it only shows on things that are tagged as surface shaders. So let's find this ship here. Not that, not that. There we go, ship body. And let's add, let's see, is this the whole ship? Yep. So we're going to add a surface shader to it. Let's check it out. Now the countdown thingy only shows a shadow. How sweet is that? The shadow only shows up when it's on the ship. You guys see that? Puka, two months ago you tried to make your own game in a 2D indie game. Sweet, me too. I mean, I'm also making a 2D indie game. You failed in one week. Hey man, that happens. Now you have nothing to play and so bored. Ah, uh, you got to pick it up, man. Get off the horse. Daniel, that's awesome. Thanks, man. Uh, Rain, that's a nice trick. Yeah. Oh, actually, this is something that I should totally uh, post on my blog. Um, post shadow decal shader and stuff on blog. Yeah, I could put that on my site. Follow in Daniel's footsteps, give out free stuff. So you guys can put it in your game. 
Of course, if you're making a 3D game, it doesn't matter because you have shadows built in. But for 2D games, the pain in the ass. But the characters actually use the same system. So when characters are jumping around on platforms, they have little shadows that get masked by the platforms. And when griffins are flying around, they also have these big ass shadows that get masked by the platforms. It's super cool. Actually, I'll probably show you guys that. Let's throw a. Let's uh, yeah. Actually, I'm not gonna full screen it so you guys can see it. No reference exception. Ah, oh, come on. The game's all butts right now. Uh, we'll see it in the room, actually. What am I doing? You just see it right here. Rating is posted indeed for science. Yeah, no, totally. I will. And actually, I didn't even come up with my, I didn't even come up with it myself. I got it from somewhere else. But you guys can see it right here. Let me... I combine a few shaders that I learned about online and then create it. So if you guys can see there under the player's foot, there is a... Let me unpause... So the player has a little shadow that's following them around right there. And if I jump, you can see the shadow scales with my height. Right? And if I go up here to this ledge, oh gosh. If we go up here to this ledge, you can see the shadow gets masked. Oh god. Oh god. Disorienting. The shadow gets masked by the edge of that surface using the shader. So it's pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Um, so yeah, we are doing the countdown timer. Let's see how that shader looks. Mind blown, Daniel. Uh, what happened with that poll? Did it end? Puka, you tried to make a game in Python. Sweet, my first game was in Python too. Um, I made like a, a Pac-Man clone in Python. Oh, I didn't apply the shadow to the prefab. Uh, I am going to turn this down, up, or turn this off, actually. Puka, should you try Unity? Yeah, I mean, if you think Python was overwhelming you, I would give Unity a shot because it's. A, I would. I think personally, I think it makes it a little bit easier to jump into, because it has this, you know, interface for you where you can see what you're doing. And if you're not a coder, I mean, let me know if I'm wrong. If you're a coder, coder, or if you're not a coder, coder, then you can, you know, be more designy and just like do a lot of stuff in the interface. Uh, I personally find it a lot easier to make games as complicated as I'm making uh, easier in Unity than it was for me in um, what the fuck why isn't it working than it was for me when I was re working in Python uh, board sprite hey where's the shadow oh I forgot to save it what an idiot do I have two no man I forgot to save the scene or something when I left give it a little bit of a blue tint. Shadows are rarely just pure black. They're usually like, I like to have cooler shadows. Shadows are cool. We'll make this a decal again. Make it 99. Alrighty. What language? Yeah, C sharp, JavaScript, or Boo script. Everybody say Boo for Boo script. All right, what the f? Then we made our. Oh, did I not save any of that this time? Ship body. I think it asked me to save, and I didn't. Right? Ship body. Give me the ship. There we go. It should be a surface. Gotta save these prefabs so we don't lose it again. Boo is not supported anymore. Good riddance, Boo. Good riddance. It's cool if you don't know any of them. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. You could just learn them. You guys have some pretty cool, I'm sure everybody in chat has some great resources for learning some C Sharp, some JavaScript. Okay, we're going to turn out that shadow. Uh, Alright, so we have the countdown timer, spawn countdown. Uh, we have Twitch count, 
switch join controller. So, all right, what do we want to do? We want to start creating a dictionary of users that have queued. So, dictionary using system.collections.generics. Dictionary. C sharp is easy to learn like Python. I mean, I think so. Yeah, it's object oriented and stuff, so it's not bad. If you could learn Python, then you'll be fine. If you learn one programming language, you could learn all programming languages. So the key will be the string, which is the username, and the value will be. Oh wait, we don't even need that, right? If it's just a dictionary of queued users. Oh yeah, we do need that, and the value will be um, player info. Um, we'll call this join queue equals new dictionary shabada boop give C sharp a month totally agree it's object oriented like python so it'll be easy to pick up Rame's totally right you want to learn it just learn it I love it Puka I love it so void on player um, join queue or we'll call it on user join queue and we'll say we'll pass in a string user and player info desired info all right, this music is starting to get way too hype for me. I'm going to switch it up. We are going to switch it up to some. Let's fade this out. I'm going to straight up DJ this. All right, that wasn't very good fading. Let's switch it up. You know what? Let's, let's pop into some Julian music. We haven't heard him on the channel for a little while. Julian Shanahan is a composer behind Skyhook. And. We're going to open up his music. Uh, that didn't work. There we go. This is his newest album called Ether. Narcos, you cannot hear my music. How do I do that? I wish you could do that. Oh, sweet. I just have it turned down really, really low. Uh, it's like turned down super low. So if I turn it up, you guys probably hear it now. I assume, maybe. I have it turned down. I don't like to bother everyone with my music. Uh, do you use... So this is my OBS settings, Narcos. I have my internal volume set like over there, and then my mic set all the way up here, so I think that's what helps. No more hype for coding. Yeah, Puka, trust me, at first it's going to seem super daunting. Even right now, like, I'm totally out of hype working on this Twitch thing. Like, it's way more hype talking to you guys and battling against you guys in the game. But uh, once you start getting something out of it, it's going to start feeling like a reward. It's going to start feeling really rewarding. Um, if not join queue.contains user join queue.add uh, user and desired info. So we're only going to add you in if you request to be added in, or if you're not already added. All right, on user join queue. So we're going to go to all of our twitchy, twitch, twitch stuff. So right now we're just spawning characters. So right now, as soon as someone calls in on play command, we're doing on character selected by Twitch user. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to do uh, on player or on user join queue. We're going to create a queue of users. And then we're going to say if that does happen, then void update view queue int new count. We're going to say update view queue and we're going to send our dictionary on user join queue dot count on user join oh whoops the dictionary is join queue dot count 
and we need the view here. I think we have that, which countdown view, yep. So actually we could just call that directly. So we'll do countdown view dot update queue. Public void update queue int new count. And we're gonna put a new string or a new text, sorry, public text. Um, joined count title. We're gonna say joined count title dot text equals new count. I don't even have to do two strings for ints, do I? I'm not sure. You guys let me know in chat if you do have to do int, two strings for ints. Inazuma, welcome back. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Narcos, quasi care to share your shadow surface shader? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to, um, after the after the stream, I will write up a quick little bloggy blog blog about how I did the shadow decal shader. Um, explain how it works and the resources I used to make it. And then I will link that uh, somewhere. I'll put it on Twitter, I guess, or I could bring it into the chat next time. But if you want it right away, Narcos, uh, let me know in chat and I'll send you, I'll paste it into the chat right now. Uh, update view queue, blah, blah, blue. Let's do some null checks. But yeah, Narcos, I imagine it's going to be a perfect addition to your game too. So yeah, I'm glad we could drop that into your game. Actually, I'm curious to ask you guys, I wonder how does that, how does it work with, um, how does it work with, like code stuff, you know? So the shader I'm using for the shadows and decals, I learned from another tutorial, right? So obviously I could include that guy's credit in the source. Um, am I then allowed to share that with my own tutorial? How does that work? Into string is already an implicit cast, gotcha, gotcha. Or you mean string to it, like string to int? Can I just do that? I don't even know why I was doing two string there. That's already a string, so whoops. Actually, this should be int start time. Mr. Puka, you could be wrong. Well, we'll find out the hard way. Let's do 60, and we'll make that a int um, countdown wait time. Equals 60. We'll make that public for now. That's what we're going to pass in here. Ooh, day night cycles with a flashlight. Sweet. Whenever I know what inspired me to write something, you just share a list where it came from. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Rames, you bought Shader Forge. Sweet. What Daniel said is what I go by and what I was told. Okay, cool, Recon. Yeah, I'll just make sure I give credit um, and how I did it. I still have the resources that I learned it from too, so I'll add those in the, in the chat. I mean, in the blog post so you guys can see how I learned it. Um, so let's make sure I make sure I do that tonight. Post Shadow Decal Shader and stuff on blog. All right, update view queue. Don't need that method anymore. We're just gonna call it straight on the view. I'm also going to do some uh, tween machine here. We'll do uh, void pulse title, and we'll send in a text sum or a, yeah text sum title. And I think do tween already does titles, right? Or does Unity text? So we'll do sum title dot do no sum title dot transform. Do, oh, I'm not. I don't even have do tween. Using dg dot tweening. Some title dot do punch. No. Dot 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 do punch. No. Okay. Dot transform dot do punch. Oh yeah. Punch scale. Uh. Towards the given size and then back. So we'll do vector. Th Three or let's do new vector. Yeah, blah blah. New vector three. Uh, uh, we'll do vector three. Vector three scale vector 
equals some title dot transform dot scale local scale and then we're going to do scale vector times 1.2f and the duration will be to be short and we'll leave everything else the same so after we do that we're going to pulse this title join title count what's going on down to UI thing you might want to use the rect transform method instead of of oh, no, do between that rect, rect, rect transform stuff cool rect transform do punch scale rect transform dot scale local scale cool thanks Dan appreciate it appreciate it recon shader forge is amazing awesome I gotta look into that it doesn't have punch scale. Let's see. Rec transform dot do punch. It looks like it does. Let's see what happens. Uh, pulse title update view queue. And we'll also do that for the timer update timer. Pulse title countdown timer. I enumerator spawn countdown I enumerator start countdown uh, float countdown time so while countdown time is greater than zero yield return new wait for seconds ones countdown time minus minus and we will do uh, view control uh, countdown view update timer and countdown time and we'll minus 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 all right and then after all of that we'll finally do void and countdown uh shabba boop shabba boop shabba boop shabba boop public bool uh q open q say it's true and then we'll say it's false and we'll only take on user join queue if not open queue return sign the documentation hmm let's see secret feature oh cannot implicitly convert int to string shucksy darnies like what I could also do is you know uh, empty quotations plus int I'm not sure which one is better or worse if you guys know please let me know if you guys are hanging out and you don't know what the hell's going on my name is quasi and I am working on skyhook a game where you fight with grappling hooks out now on steam early access we are adding twitch integration a countdown timer and all kinds of gypsy magic let's get going spawn countdown uh, okay, and then on complete action, do void uh, countdown ready. We'll call that. That's going to start the core routine. Inazuma, welcome to the crew. Thank you so much for the follow. You are watching Sky Game Development, as I just very elegantly said. Countdown wait time. Start core routine. Oops. Uh, what is it called? Start countdown. Wait time. What's going on, chat guys? Text boxes are always so picky. Always need a two string. Framework 3.5. No worries, XNF. See what we got. Rhymes, you can probably write something without seeing the code if the blog post explains the method. Cool, man. But you can do awesome stuff in uh, Shader Forge. I gotta look into it. 
Yeah, if you guys ever see things that you think could, I could improve on with other stuff, like if Shader Forge can make stuff look super cool in Skyhook, definitely let me know, and I would love to kind of get that kind of stuff into the game. Shop da pop, shop da boop. Oh god, oh god, look at that punch scale. Oh, it's punching, it's punching all right. That is some punchy punch punch action going on. Butts everywhere. We don't even have. There would have been an exception. Oh no, I wouldn't have because we actually set up for it. Uh, join view. Uh, shit. I might need to... Alright, let's get the countdown thing back. We're going to just add the text onto this for now. So let's just do... That'll be way easier. Put the countdown title like over there. Put the command title like over here. And then we'll just put the other title inside here. Uh, total count. Six, 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 joined. And we'll adjust that all as we please. Uh, make this bigger, four, four, one. Oh, 0 0.4, one. Okay, and this needs a reference to this. Save or apply the prefab. So that'll count. Let's turn down that punch. If you have a new Shader Forge for 2D games, though, no worries, no worries. I can look into that. Uh, countdown view punch scale float punch scale equals scales towards a given size and then back to the starting one huh let's do 1.1 and then X and F there's a skyhook torrent are you kidding me I never even looked at that. That's kind of cool. It's kind of awesome. Hopefully it's not a virus. I know there's a few people who have who claim to be giving the game out on YouTube and it seems like a virus. What? What is this punch scale even punching? I made it too fast, but let's see what the scale value is there. Countdown title. This is 1.6 to 1.2. Okay. So what I want to do is punch scale. Let's just add 0 0.2 scale vector plus equal equals vector 2 times 1 plus times punch scale. I think that should work. Looks pretty fishy. Can you guys recommend Dutune, by the way? Hell yeah, I can. Rames, hell yeah, I can. It can tween float properties. I believe Dutune can do that too. Daniel probably knows better. Um, it ends up with NAND values. That was super frustrating. Hmm. Skyhook download free torrent direct link crack. Crack? Why is there a crack? Oh my god, it's on a forum post? Skyhook Interactive? That's not any of my company. It's just a copy and paste from the Steam page. That's awesome. Yeah, there's no need for a crack for the game, guys. If you really need the game, just ask. Just ask. Uh, vector 3 times 1 scale vector dot z equals 1 god that's quite a bit of a scale
All right, we are going to set uh, spawn countdown, countdown view dot update view queue to zero, and update view queue should be new count to string plus has joined, have joined, zero have joined, one have joined, two have joined, two. users hmm let's just say in queue for now no strings anywhere oh hell yeah strings be evil strings be evil y'all Not holding my breath. Why you scale so much? All right, let's see if this works, guys. Actually, I can just do it. Play fin. Sweet, one in queue. It's me. I'm in the queue. Recon, yeah, Unity's UI is very much based on NGUI for sure. Two in Q, yay! Toja, three in Q. All right, sweet guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, what are we doing? So this thing is still not where we want it to be. Why does it punch so much? Punch scale equals some title direct transfer from that local scale. Scale vector. Scales towards the given size. Man, it makes me so happy that there's so many people chatting that you guys have to at each other so that you know who you're talking to. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. W T F W T T T T T T T T F Shoop 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 Man the scaling of this is pissing me off Must be something with the do tween on uh, punch scaling. What would happen if I use the transform? Would that make my life any better? So if you guys are wondering what we're doing, right now we're adding a big Q countdown. So people have the alignment on the text, looks like it's scaling from the bottom. Ah, good call, Reims. Yeah, let's take a look at that. It's actually a weird issue I've had since I got to 5.3, where all my text aligns at the bottom. Mother effer. So countdown title. The alignment is set to the middle. But whenever, like, I don't know why, but in 5.3, all my shit just aligns to the bottom. Which sucks. And I want it. And I want it one bit. Aligned by geometry. I don't know. Is it even using my punch scale? Punches a transforms local scale towards the given size. And then back to the starting one as if it was connected to by elastic. Let's fucking let's just make it zero. Go up, pivot? Oh, okay. 
pivot y should be zero or something. Uni 5.3 is a buggy mess. Yeah, man. Should never have done it. Wait, what? This is not... This is not even... Fucking scale vector plus... Oh, okay, I did plus. Yeah. Um, let's just... Let's just... Scale vector dot x plus equals punch scale scale vector dot y plus equals punch scale. Recoding went back to 5.2.4. I might do that soon, to be honest. But that means my text is going to get fucked up all over again. Narcos, you went back too? Holy shit. Why didn't you guys tell me? Why didn't anybody tell me we were all abandoning 5.3? If only I knew. If only I knew. Alright, how is this possible? It's punch scaling with a zero, with, with, it's not, it's, it's supposed to be the same. <sighs> punch scaling on Rex is a bad idea, guys. It's just a bad idea. You broke your custom tools? Holy shit. So punch scale doesn't work on the title, but yeah, it looks like the pivot of the transform is down here, and the text is all the way up there when the alignment is centered, which is bullshit. It is bullshit. We're going to put that in there. Now, dear fuck. I hate everything. Oh, gosh. All right. Very simple. What we're going to do is grab an animator. Give me you. I want fucking you. Turn UI back on. Let me grab this. Controls view, holder, heart, container. Leave you have an animator that does something. Enable shaded wireframe mode in scene view and see where the actual quad is. Might reveal the issue. What? Shaded wireframe. Yeah, it looks right. This is cool. I want to look at my whole game like this. Uh, animation. So this pops the scale like that. So let's just copy this animator and drop it on this mofo. And let's see. Hmm. It still pops it based on the wrong um, based on the wrong pivot, but. It's too bad. What we'll have to do is, what I'll try today is I'll try to downgrade back to, um, what did you guys mention, 5.2? Empty game object. Most of life's problems, yeah, Rames. Pivot of the anchor. Uh, is that this shit? 
Uh. How to grab. Okay. Okay. Hacks. Such hacks. Let's turn this off. 5.2.4. Keep that in mind. Unity 5.2.4. Watch it like break my game if I go back from 5.3. Nope, changing the pivot didn't do a shit. Because Unity is garbage. Oh, because look, the, the thing is down here. Bloop. It's like the actual thing is down there, and then the actual text shows up up here, even though it's center aligned. Recon, you're out of here. All right, man. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna, yeah, gonna do that and that and that, and we're just gonna do our own little hacky thing because we've been on this for way too long. Uh, public animator. Title anim public animator q anim so pulse title is just gonna say uh, it's gonna take an animator what the fuck why can't I even type right now there we go. Some title. What's up, Rain? Check the diagram up top next to the rec transform. You know you can use that for pivot or anchor presets. Shop it up, shoop it up, shop it up. This thing. Yeah, it was. It's it was by default. It's always set to. Well, I can't do that on this screen. It was set to middle center, right? Which is shows up down here of the thing. If that's what you mean. Top, next to the rec transform. Yeah. So by default, it's being set to the middle of the actual object. But if you look at the text, the text, the quads for the text renders way up there, even though it's set to middle align. So if I lower the height, then it disappears. So I'm not sure what I can do to remedy that. It's totally weird, yeah. It, it happened as soon as I upgraded to 5.3. And I just thought, I, I just like dealt with it. I adjusted all the text and all my UI, but um, I thought they would fix it or something. I wonder if they fix it in the latest update. I know there's another update that came out today, or a few days ago or something. So I don't know. But that's okay, guys. We'll deal, we'll deal. We'll deal. We'll deal, we'll deal. Title anim, and Q anim. If some title, some title dot play and our string our animator is pop glad you stay on 5.2 yeah i wish somebody got somebody would have told me because what happened is i was on 5.1 for a long time almost the most of the half the course of this game's lifetime i started on 4 and then i moved to 4.6 and then i upgraded to 5.1 and then i didn't move past that and so about last month when i decided to update from 5.1, I was like, well, I'm just going to go all the way, right? Go bigger, go home. So I went all the way to 5.3, whatever the newest one was. Now I'm paying that price. If you guys don't know what I'm doing here, in Unity, you can hash the animation states as integers. It doesn't really make a huge difference, but it's technically better for performance, I believe, because you're not using a string to play, you're using the hashed integer to play it. So we'll just popity pop and whoppity wop. And so we've got the animator there. I'm going to copy that and put it on this as well. Command title. Need to put that in empty game object now. And you go down here. And we won't do two upper here. 
What's up, guys? Uh, oh, no, not an update. I thought there was some new stuff in chat. Okay, and okay, and okay, and okay, and more drag and drop bullshit here. Oh, no, not you! Oh, it's recompiling. And okay, oh, what do you want? It's an animator. Take it. Take it. It's here. What? What? Oh, whoops. Here, take this. And you take that. And then you eat some of that. Oh, that was the wrong way. This is the title. Q title. Oh, man. I did the wrong thing. More empty game objects. Total count should go in here. And we'll reset it. And we'll reset this. So the reason I'm scaling it all down is because that animator animates based on the value of from 1 to 1.2. So we want to make sure the actual object is at scale 1, and then we'll scale down the parent to compensate. So there's the count. So the title doesn't need it anymore. All right, all right, all right. We're getting somewhere. Reams, you went through each and every single patch of 5.0. Damn, every goddamn time broke something. Yeah, why are they? Why, why are they so mean? Why does Unity hate us? Double draw calls in the UI. Oh man, game breaking crashes on iOS. Oh man, multiple other issues. Oh man, every time there's just a few critical issues. Yeah. Unity 5 has indeed been an, been an emotionally. I imagine it's even more work for you guys being on mobile. I know a lot more can go wrong. All right. Object reference not set to whatever. All right. Poppity pop, whoppity wop. All right. Now it's pulsing. I mean, it, it's whatever. We're going to call it. Bot play. Uh, play fin, I guess. There we go. Okay. So now I'll actually do any of the other logic. So that UI took us freaking an hour and a half, which is way too much time for a placeholder UI. But we're getting somewhere. Toja, 3 and Q. Reams 3, or told you 2 in Q, Reams 3 in Q. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. All right. Now let's actually do some shit with the Q. So end countdown. We'll do... Uh, we need three users. So... Just do list. Hmm. End countdown. What are we going to do? We're going to put the thingy away. We're going to move it back to where it came from. And then on complete, we're going to call countdown done. And we're just going to recycle it. Okay. Uh, we are we want to add the ability to have just use exclamation play. So on play command, if command params that length equals zero, here we go. On skin change, nope. On level change, on command received. On play command, command params. Starts at one. Uh, so we'll do if command params dot length equals one, then player info 
or requested info dot character equals character random and then to do else we'll do all of that. Puka, today you'll install Unity, tomorrow you'll start watching tutorials, or today you'll start Unity and while it's installing you'll start watching tutorials. Okay, so that's going. It's nice you're able to just join and it'll choose a character for you. And so once it's all done, end countdown, we're going to make a list of uh, wait, do we store the user's information here? On character selected, new profile, requested info, that profile, okay, we're not making that profile, so let's do that here. Requested info dot profile equals new profile using the username. Okay. So list player info um, random from Q equals equals new list player info we want to get three random guys from the dictionary uh, what's the best what happens if you don't have more than three hey damage vol what's going on dude thanks for coming back uh, let's find our dictionary here our join queue um, uh, Twitch named enemies. Boom, boom. Get random username. All right, let's use that. String random user is the join queue dot count key so I'll do um, player info get random user from Q Let's join Q oh, what import please and then we'll do join queue up if random user will do join queue dot remove random user and here we'll do player info got info it's null player info equals random or join queue dot or oops join queue at random user I don't know what's going on with my typing today guys so random user equals 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 damage ball how's it going how is it going if string is not equal to null, uh, we, we get the info, we'll remove it, and then we'll return at the end. Return got info. And for int i equals zero, i is less than. Uh, join Q dot count what join Q dot count I plus plus 
actually no, we want to do int uh, total players to spawn equals three. So we're going to iterate for three times. And if total players to spawn, or sorry, if i is greater than or equal to join queue dot count, then break. Daniel, are the pro scripting features nice to have? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, you don't have pro. What? You're such a big Dutween fan. What does it have in it, in the pro scripting features? All right, otherwise we're gonna say random uh, player info new rand equals get random user from queue if player if rand random from queue dot add rand don't need those x parentheses if rand is not null so three times we're going to try to get a random person from the queue add them to our list if we get if we don't have enough players in the queue we'll just break out of it and now for each uh, uh, random from queue player info player info we're going to do on character selected by twitch and then we're going to say player info dot profile name and player info oh gosh oh gosh And that should do a thing. So end countdown is called when the count when the countdown ends. This probably shouldn't be called start countdown. Uh, on countdown. And yeah, we're gonna make the countdown time smaller so we could test this out. We'll make it 20 seconds or 30 seconds. So get ready if you guys are hanging out in chat. Let's see if we can get this to work. And let's see if we can clear out our errors. Random is ambiguous between bloody blue and blah blah blah. Did I forget some parentheses? System.random and unity engine.random. Uh, unity engine.random. Is that better? Alrighty. Here we go, here we go. Start up the queue, 60 seconds. So I will go in as the bot. So you guys got some time to join. I accidentally still set it to 60, not 30, because I forgot the public variable. XNF in as Runa. Unity engine at random because you have using system in that script and system as random too. Gotcha, Rames. Thanks so much. Uh, Puka, how many, how much time did it take me to make this game? The graphics are awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, I did the, uh, I did the graphics myself. Uh, it has been one year and nine months or something like that. Um, almost there, almost done. But yeah, I've been doing the graphics myself and the coding and all of that stuff. Five in queue. Sweet. Twenty-two seconds to go. Mystical Puka trying to hack it I love it it didn't work thank you so much for testing that out it didn't add you three four times I think I think right yeah I don't think it did um, random because unity engine dot random in the, in the top oh cool thanks I didn't know that seven seconds to go anybody else want in anybody else want in remember you are fighting for 1,000 doubloons if this works boom we got Toja XNF Miskopuka let's make sure that everybody is right uh, Miskapuga typed in play Jade. Toja Runa Yellow. Perfect. XNF Runa Red. It worked! Awesome! So the queue worked. It queued up and it picked three random people out of the five that joined. Now let's jump into a test match. So I am going to be Finn. If you guys haven't seen it before, this is the game we're working on. This is Skyhook. It's a game where you fight with grappling hooks out now on Steam Early Access. We are working on a Twitch queue so you guys in the audience can queue up to become bots in the game. And the winner of every match, if your bot wins, then you get doubloons. Let's turn the audio back on. Whoa! Got some cannons dropping. Whoa! It's coming for me. Whoa! It's still coming for me. 
So if you guys don't know, Finn's power is when he dodges, he could change direction. Axilas! Axilas! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the crew. You are watching Skyhook Game Development, a game where you fight with grappling hooks. Out now on Steam Early Access. We are playing against bots named after users in the Twitch chat. Oh, and I just took out... I think that was... X, no, XNF is down there. Mystical Puka grabs a sudden death. Oh, man, I'm actually in the lead for once against the bots. That's always good. Oh, Mystical Puka takes a dive. XNF! Let's go! No! Here we go. Oh, XNF gets me from behind. What a backstabber. Puka, you don't know how to play. Oh, you actually don't have to do anything. The AI just takes over for you once you're in the game. Hey, I won. Haha, <laughs> suckers, no points for you. Axelius, thank you so much. Axelus. Axelus. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. What up, Mexico Puka? No points for you. No points for you. Your bot just killed itself twice. Yeah, we're still working out some of those. All right, guys, 30 seconds to go. Hop in, hop in, hop in. 30 seconds might not be enough, actually, but let's see. Stupid AI. Sorry, XNF. We're still working on the AI bugs. Still working on the AI bugs. Damage Vol, big map with eight players. I know. I know. I, I don't know if I mentioned on stream yesterday, but we do have support for eight players now. Damage Vol didn't show you. Who won? Puka, I won. So no points for me. All right. The timer ran out, so let's start again. Uh, I'm going to set the timer back to 60. Uh, countdown wait time I wonder why I was 30 the first time and not oh because it gets reset so I'm just going to make that private alright Puka so the way it works is uh, I'll show you guys right now so I'm going to start up the game in the character selection screen oh, we're recompiling uh, when that big Q comes down it says with the counter you can uh, type in exclamation play, or you can even type in exclamation play followed by a character name to get spawned, to get a chance to spawn into the game. Yeah, thanks, Puka. Appreciate it. Here we go. 60 seconds to go. Let's go, let's go. Who wants to jump in for a chance at 1,000 doubloons on today's Skyhook stream? Oh, we got one. We got XNF as a random yellow. Very cool. Daniel, Anara Red, hard. Did somebody say hey, I am off to play. Welcome to the crew. Thank you so much for the follow. You are watching Skyhook Game Development. We got we got Toja in the crew. We got XNF trying to break it. Love it, love it. Actually, I wonder if you're going to get a random yellow XNF. I don't know how that works. Uh, Mystical Puka, random blue hard. Puka, random, awesome. I should say Mystical Puka and I should say like Puka T. So that's more... Or Puka T. Puka T. So it's easier to just, you know decide or... Uh, differentiate between Mystical Puka and Puka Te. Or maybe just Mystical and Puka. Nope, it's, it's too hard. Mystical, Puka, and Puka Te. Five in queue. Anybody else? Six seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, ninety-seven, ninety-nine. All right, we got Daniel as Red Anara. Puka, uh, Mystical Puka as Yellow Runa. Uh, let's see if that's correct. Mystical Puka, Random Red. So yeah, Random followed by Color doesn't do anything. Um... Daniel put in... What the hell did he put in? I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. Wait, did Daniel even say anything? Oh, yeah. Nara red. Hard. Cool. And Pukate. Pukate random. Sweet. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. This is the Swampland, where it looks like one of these... Oh, yeah, the leaves are fine. This is the Swampland, where we've got these moving platforms, giant trees, giant silly goofy leaves in the middle that you can stand on as well. Everybody transformed into Yellow Runa right now, so you can't tell who's who. Oh, there we go, we transformed back. Taking you out, Daniel. Going for Pukate! Going for Mystical! Oh, no! I fell. Random with color keeps a random color. Yeah, it looks like it random isn't. Whoa, no reference exception. Sword trigger has been destroyed, but you're still trying to access it. Let's see what we got. Player three is missing his sword trigger. What 
the hell? Player sword is right there. Where is it? Let's see where this is in code. Shield collisions. If hit transform. My player, that sprite animator, that melee weapon trigger dot transform. Rames, oh, it's actually not mine, Rames. That is actually Daniel's awesome exception handler. Uh, it's actually for, uh, I think it's freely available on his website, or did he just give it to me? I forget which. But yeah, it's pretty sweet. Daniel wrote that. Daniel SND hanging out in chat. Um, my player, my level control that transform. Player powers doesn't have one. So player three, my player that dot 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 sprite animator so sprite fast but no exceptions what's that what's that melee weapon trigger missing huh someone's sword trigger got destroyed that's good to know player is missing sword trigger Let's see sword trigger something destroyed you sword trigger definitely gotta look into that that's not good yeah the second handler is sweet Dan because now I could always um, make sure the game's not broken Yep, as always, nice work, Daniel, nice work. So let's... Uh, if... How would you get destroyed? I'm trying to think what are the things in the game that could possibly destroy a child object of a player. You know what we can like look at? Let's look at our player prefab. Look at our player. Look at his sprat. This is his sword trigger. It's on weapon layer. Let's go to bounds or boundary controller. Tags default recycle. So let's do case tags dot sword break. So I think what might be happening is that the boundary is destroying the sword, which this is also a really shitty switch statement, so please don't mind that. Daniel handing out code in chat. His exception handler. That seems like one of those things you should definitely um, put on your site, Dan. I am off to play. Do I develop this game alone? Yes, with the love, the absolute love of all of you guys hanging out in chat. Which, by the way, type exclamation play if you want to get into this match. Um, but yeah, I, I develop this game by myself. I do all the programming and the art and the sound design, and I have an awesome composer who does the music, and um, I had an illustrator do the loading screens. The code is awesome, Toja, the code is awesome. Yeah, it's for, for, for beta builds. Yeah, you don't want to do it for your final build, because the last thing you want is your players getting an exception on their screen on Steam. 
Oh yeah, good call, Dan. Good call. Yeah, it's my fault. I keep I, I get you to like post everything all the time, and then you're not gonna have anything. Yeah, great call. Four in Q, four in Q, four in Q. Windows 8.1 update when you install Unity, you have Windows 7. That's weird. Daniel, thanks for the thanks for the link. Yeah, everybody definitely check that out. He's got some crazy utilities. I'm pretty sure my game is using every single utility on that site. What? We only got two. What the fuck? We only got two this time. Weird. So another test match. Rames, did you get in the queue with the numeric enum value? Yeah. Rames, did you type three? Yeah, so three is uh, Runa. So there's a shortcut you could type in. If you don't know the character names, you can just type in um, their character IDs. So Nara is one, uh, Finn is two, Runa is three, and Jade is four. Told you, yeah, it's weird. People did enter. Four people entered, but it only showed two, so we're going to inspect that bug after this playtest. But yeah, Rames, it was actually intended because the first time I put it in, um, people didn't know how to spell the character names and stuff, so I thought it would be a shortcut. Uh, let me know if you guys think that should stay in or not, that it uses the enum, the enum values. Hey, no, I'm glad. I definitely want you guys to figure out how to break this stuff so that we can make it better. Remember X and F last time was trying to, was like just punching in like crazy break lines and stuff. So yeah, no, thank you guys. Oh, Rames took me out as black runa black and red runa Rames you know what that means the winner of each bot match gets treasure add Rames nope not recon Rames uh, 1000 doubloons for you all right so let's see what's going on with our dictionary. Uh, <clears throat> Twitch join controller. So what it does is it makes a random queue. It goes three times. Get random user from queue. Oh, Unity Engine random dot range is exclusive. Okay, that's fine. For scurvy sea battles, exactly. They are exactly for scurvy sea battles. You can type exclamation battle followed by a gamble amount to get into a battle and and gamble your doubloons. Uh, Pukate, uh, you keep getting the error with Visual Studio when installing Unity. Uh, what version of Visual Studio are you running? Did it roll random on the same Fint. user, thus Fint. voiding a space? Ah, uh, Fint Metal, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crew. You are watching Skyhook Game Development, a game where you fight with grappling hooks. Out now on Steam Early Access. Uh, Toja, did it roll a random on the same user, thus voiding a space? Hmm. On character selected by Twitch. If bot info equals null. On character selected by Twitch. Empty box on CPU. It gets the info. No, you can have the same character. Let's look at this again. What we always need to do is we can like print some stuff through it. Should you ignore the error? Yeah, I guess so. If you don't have Visual Studio, I can't imagine. Maybe it thinks you're supposed to have Visual Studio. Does my random ensure that you can't roll the same random twice? So string random user is joined. It gets a random thing from the join, and then it removes that person from the queue. So when you end the countdown. It gets 
a random user from Q. This should just get the next available box. Yep. Wonder where it's getting hung up. Damage volume really you need Unity. Any tips? I personally really prefer the Unity Learn tutorials. It's uh, Unity dot three D three D dot com slash learn slash tutorials slash archive tutorials. So let's make a little Ankbot thing for that. I think it's a it's a pretty, fairly popular question. So commands unity or commands learn unity. Oops, it should be here. And we'll say some great resources for unity tutorials. We'll put that in there. And there's the Udemy course, right, which I think a lot of people have recommended around here. Some great free and not so free resources for Unity tutorials. And we could add to that if you guys have any recommendations. Uh, slash learn Unity. I think that's something about coding too. Learn Unity, voice actors, language, Code Academy, yeah. Cool, if you don't know any coding at all, then I would recommend Code Academy. Oh, if I can only spell it right. Code Academy. Uh, sorry, I'm missing out on chat. Where's my Anki bot? Somebody asked, did... Uh, Mr. Poker too slow for you? Yes, that's why I really like the YouTube videos on Unity Learn because you can just speed them up. So check this out, guys. I cannot watch a YouTube video at single speed unless it's like a TV show or a video about something. But if I'm going to learn something, so let's go to like, uh, let's go to Unity Tutorial. So like if I'm going to watch this video, right? I cannot watch a tutorial video at single speed. And you guys can see how, from how fast I talk, I'm kind of a psycho. So I can only watch videos at double speed. If not 1.5, that person's already talking kind of fast. Because uh, I can just like blaze through the video. So this 12 minute video will only be six minutes. Uh, oh, XNF, you got the problem. Uh, join Q.com if you remove two players, the condition is on the third run false, right? What? Because I can stream program or at least stream and play some games. Oh, I got to catch up on chat. Wait, chat, stop scrolling down by yourself. Um, XNF less than equals to join dot count. Shop it up. Show it boop. Shop doop. Hold on. Uh, if you remove two players and the condition is on the third run, false, right? Uh, let me see. Random between zero and count. If less than or equal, to, if i is greater than or equal to join q dot count three zero one two. Oh shit! Right, 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 right. Ah, what's happening, Daniel? What is what is why I only watch your streams on video on demand? Oh, to speed it up. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, Dan, with your videos, I actually just play them while I'm usually having lunch or breakfast on the weekends. And I'll just actually play them through while I'm working on my game and actually watch the whole thing. Warner, you're on your way back home. Two more hours, sweet man. Uh, Pukatata's uh, Code Academy have C-sharp tutorials? I don't think so, but jo I would, if you don't know programming at all, I would learn like their Java and stuff. Uh, then you can go on from there. But there's, yeah, tons of C-sharp tutorials all over the internet as well. Code Academy is more for if you know, no programming at all. I think it would be a good place to go there. Um, when you loop through a list or queue, whatever you are planning to remove stuff at times, you should always loop through them backwards. Um, but it's hard to read. Oh yeah, I'm just calling it queue. Uh, it's not actually a queue, but yeah, it's a list. So you should loop through them backwards. So what I'm doing is I'm going through this dictionary, pulling stuff out of it, 
and then adding it to a list. And I'm calling that list a queue because I'm a jerk. So we could just refactor this to say get random user. Um, time for battle. Rings, when you're looping through a list or a queue, you're planning to remove stuff at times. You should always loop to them backwards. And so I want to say something about the less than equals. So let's look at this. This is probably where all the issues are coming from. So through, we're going to iterate over the dictionary three times. Uh, we're going to get random user. Let's just get rid of that, because this is already returning null if there's not enough things left. Get random user, shoop, 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 shoop. Oh, I didn't know that either, XNF. If you run through them backwards, it's not thread safe. So yeah, so what we're doing is we're creating a list, and then we're getting a random element from this dictionary, removing it from the dictionary, getting another random element, removing it, and adding it to the list, another random element, remove it from the dictionary, add it to the list. Could probably just also, like, randomize the dictionary, then, you know, delete the last, or only save the last first three or something. Narco is battling with 6-6 hits once again. Oh no, out of water. Alright, let's give this a shot. I think that bounced a little bit high, so we'll tone that down later on. Oh, I have to play. Sorry, I missed that question before. Did I write my own character controller? Yes, I wrote my character controller from scratch. Um, although if I do it again, I would do it a little bit differently. Mr. Kapuka, instead of removing from the list you are looping through, you could copy the selected users to where you need them and delete the queue later. Got some queues. Play 56. <laughs> Play 3 blue hard. Instead of removing the list you are looping from the list you are looping through, you could copy the selected users to where you need them and then delete the queue later. Yeah, that makes sense. Rames play negative one, nice. Execute order 66, Daniel, no! All right, we got Anard, Rames, blue damage, and blue Dan. I will jump in as, got a lot of blue going on, so I'll be bla uh, blue Jade. All right, let's go. This will be the last bot match for today before we jump into our cooldown sketch. And we are going to head to Kingsfall. Ah, the original map. This was the first ever map designed for this game. It went through many iterations. It was once a Mayan temple, and then it was just a dark, gloomy castle, and ultimately became this super bright and happy castle. Shark kills shark kills shark. Wow, that shark is dominating. Oh, damage takes me out. Narcos racking up those doubloons on the bat on the battles. I'm gonna jump into the pirate. Oh my gosh, got taken out by a cannonball. So does damage. Just Rames and damage now. Rames going for the ship. It looks like. Nope. Gets out of there. Oh, hanging out by the ship. Oh, they're going for each other. Oh, damage goes for the chest. Oh, they go at each other, but they barely miss. Oh, and Rames takes a dive. Damage for the win. There it is. Sweet. Well done. Well done. Treasure add damage. 1,000. 1,000 to blues for you, damage wall. Well done, well done. Cool, guys. So today we added a, we added a, oh, there it goes.